the Scottish border country, a fascinating mixture of beautiful landscapes. This is Walter Scott country, 1,800 square miles, stretching from rolling hills and moorland in the west to rich agricultural plains in the east. The River Tweed threads its way through the heart of border country, and it's here that you'll find the best fishing in Scotland. The landscape has a rich history, and nowhere is it more evident than here in Kelso. At one time, Kelso Abbey was the wealthiest religious house in Scotland, and today the town of Kelso still plays a large part in the business and social lives of this mainly agricultural community. The elegant townhouse dates from 1816 and overlooks the largest square in Scotland. What finer setting could you have for the Goldwing Owners Club of Great Britain's 1999 British Treffen? The graceful five arch bridge dates from 1803 and was the model for Waterloo Bridge in London. Crossing over the bridge, it's difficult not to notice Springwood Park, home of the Border Union Agricultural Show. Don't be taken in by the tranquil scene. Kelso sees plenty of action when the ram sales and dog shows come to town, but they're nothing compared to what the town will see over the next few days, because Kelso is about to host a national treffen, and that's not something that happens every day. And it's anticipated that over a thousand gold wings will be arriving here over the next 48 hours. There are still some final preparations to complete, but a lot's been done already. The main thing is that the weather is fine ideal travelling and camping conditions. With seven British and 28 overseas Treffens to their credit, Pat and Tony Perkins are Treffen regulars. We've come down to Kelso on the Gold Wings this year. Uh, Tony and myself and a load of others, the National Committee, all the volunteers who are available, we've come to Kelso to help set up the Treffen site where we're putting up marquees, beer stands, trade stands, all the tents, all the electrics. It's just a big show. Uh, we're all down here setting up as best we can, ready for a mine event at the weekend, which is the British Treffen. A few years ago, we decided to buy on the Goldwing. We liked the look of the bike, big bike. A friend of ours had got one as well, and he says, why not come and join the Goldwing Club? What's that, we said. So we went one weekend, borrowed some camping gear, and some kit, went camping and we had a brilliant weekend. So we thought we'll try it the next weekend. And then we were hooked. We met that many people and enjoyed ourselves. We joined the Goldwing Club. Uh, Tony and myself and my son have been in the club about seven or eight years now. We just go away every weekend, both here to different regions and abroad. And it's now become a way of life for us. Uh, the family's grown up. So we thought we'll, we'll do what we want to now and we just enjoy the social life, the camping, the travelling and the fresh air basically. It's great. There's still plenty to do but helping to get things ready is part of the fun of coming to an event like this, so there's no shortage of help. Most of the wingers attending the Treffen camp on site, and it's amazing how much they can squeeze into one of those trailers. The main marquees are up, and the field's been marked out ready for the tents to be pitched. With so many people due to arrive in such a short space of time, it's important to have everything properly organized. Right now, tables are a priority. And just look at this. Sassanax and Scots working together in harmony. I don't care what you say, it'll never fly. The focal point of the weekend is the main marquee. Quite literally, the stage is set for 72 hours of serious dancing, drinking and general partying. But that's for later. Right now, there's still work to be done. For those who've remembered their checkbook, there are plenty of new wings on offer. And if you're not feeling particularly flush, a new wing could still be yours for the price of a raffle ticket. Some lucky man, we proud out of a 12 and a half thousand pound motorcycle.
This is the weekend when a brand new 1500 must be won. Andy Catlin's scheme in support of the Kent Air Ambulance Service has seen over £3,000 raised through tickets sold over the past 12 months. And now there's just 12 hours left to buy your £10 ticket. Hello. Hi. Hi. You come far? St. Helens, Lancashire. All right. All right. A nice drive. Beautiful. Very good. So it's nice scenery, isn't it? It's gorgeous, lovely. Nice town as well. Some of the early arrivals had more on their minds than just putting up tents. Les and Tracy Hunt had decided to make a detour to Gretna Green on the Sunday afternoon to tie the knot, Goldwing style. Their original plan to marry in Spain during the Treffen there had come unstuck due to Spanish paperwork. Let's hope that the Scottish paperwork is just as easy to deal with as that inflatable bed. That's my best man. That man there. Wingers are practical people, always on the lookout for new ideas. How's this for handy extra storage? It fits on, it looks like the back of the bike, you see? Mm. Right? Got me leads, my lights, right? When it goes on there, it looks like the back of the bike, doesn't it? If it's accessories you want, they're arriving by the van load and there's no doubt that the trade stands will be as popular as ever. There's plenty of room on the campsite, but it's still only Thursday. The main influx of wings will come tomorrow. For now, let's enjoy the sunset with the promise of good weather and a great weekend to look forward to. Friday morning, and as expected, queues are beginning to form at the gate. It's time to find out what the site has to offer, meet old friends, and find new ones. First things first, though, new arrivals get a warm welcome from Sandra and her team. After which, it's the dreaded form filling in. But they make it all look so easy, don't they? We're not allowed to let anything on site that isn't a gold wing. Um, obviously, it's a silver wing, so what we're asking is if you just park it up over here and we'll get you taken into something. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Had a good journey? Yeah, not bad. <laughs> Where are you coming from? Cheltenham. A bit damp. We left at half past four this morning. It's now half past eleven. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> this is it. We're going to get the tent up. Wingers can turn their hands to many things, but the bagpipes are best left to the professionals. The traditional Scottish welcome comes to the Treffen courtesy of Alan, a local Kelso resident who's going to play his part and his pipes in making sure that the weekend's events have a unique and traditional Scottish flavour.
Another tradition at Old Treffens, the time-honoured ceremony of erecting the tent. Once you've mastered your own, why not sit back, have a cup of tea, and watch the entertainment unfold. It was only a matter of time before someone tried the pipes. The question is, has anybody told him which end he should be blowing from? It's supposed to squeeze it to get something out of it. This man has a real bare-ass nerve. Oh, brilliant. That's fantastic, that. I'll pipe in tonight. Like that tonight. Yeah. Get a balloon and blow up and like, pipe in the Aggies. Yeah. <laughs> While there's still some money in your pocket, it's a good time to visit the trade stands. The essentials and goodies come in all shapes, sizes and colours. And if it's chromed, it's even better still. Everything, lining. The only difference is the lining doesn't come out. Right. On the arrow, you can take the cheap pieces out. Yes. But 90% of people with arrows don't know that happens anyway. Yeah. Every Treffen has an unmissable deal, and this Treffen is no exception. With 2,751 miles on the clock, someone's going to buy this wing during the weekend. And it just might be going home to Wales. Why you just leave the bloody glasses on? No, 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 no. I only need a for reading. That's some purple one. That's more like it. You look nice in purple. Now, at the moment, the reason why there's no plate on it. Oh, yeah, he did it. No, he had a private plate on it. <laughs> 
Oh, which is not retentious, we're waiting for the new plate to come. Oh, I Everything's see with it, it's yeah. so a one owner, it's a UK bike, services through the lot. But have you seen the mileage on it? No. 2,700 miles. Yeah. That's all it is. It's an old chap I know, a chap by the name of Gavin Greater. Yeah. And he has a photo of business. And every, so he buys one and he uses it for his photo shoots. Oh, I know you, yeah. So it's had like young, yeah. scantily clad women all over it. <laughs> <laughs> they don't come with it. But Ali, that, <laughs> that won't change. <laughs> I could probably get a new one down somewhere around there. The wife will give me a Ali back. Put that on the video, right? Put it on the video. Yeah, put it on the video. Put it on the video. Leave us alone. No, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. You can give me that. You can give me the Ali package. I'll get one of them, man. Well, that's up to you. If replacing your wing doesn't appeal, what about a spot of restyling? And it can all be done while you wait, of course. Well, I did with the yeah, oranges in. Yeah, orange. Yeah. Style means different things to different people. But there's no question that Jeff Carr's wing certainly has a unique style. This is a 1500 um, SC, and I've had it for two years now. Um, I've done all the artwork. Basically, just customised it to what I want it. A lot of people don't like the artwork, but uh, it's what I want. Um, it's everybody to their own, isn't it? I like it. I like the artwork on it. It's all um, all different. But, um, was it your own, your own idea then, or? Yeah, yeah. So we just thought of something different. I mean, a lot of people have the art of the scroll work on, but I think the scroll work's outdated myself. I like something to be personalised to somebody else, your own taste. Yeah. Um, and this is mine, and this is what we like, and it gets quite a lot of comments, to be honest. But, um, it's all, uh, it's, it's just one of them things, what you want to do. I love it. Are you going out in a ride today, or? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Which tomorrow. one are you going on? Um, I'm marshalling tomorrow. On the uh, no Sunday, sorry. I can't have losing dates. Um, marshalling on Sunday on the big run. Prayer Nations, which is one of the better ones because there's plenty out there on that run. It's a lovely thing. Wings are meant to be ridden, and there are two runs set up for Friday. The first went to Lindisfarne, which is no bad place to go as long as the tide's out. The second run made the shorter trip to the Glen Kinchin distillery. It's understood that pillion riders had to be strapped on for the return trip. Trikes and combos don't have the same performance as the standard wings, so they're encouraged to lead the run and set the pace for the rest. That's the sort of consideration that makes it a real pleasure to be part of an event like this.
once the runs had departed, the sun broke through. For those who decided to do their own thing, this meant a leisurely day in camp or around Kelso. And if you've been on the night shift, you needed a break more than most. Not a lot, apart from I'm knackered from security shift. Fire. I'm too tight. Oh, yeah, we had a bit of a fire. A lost kid. A bit of a tussle. Why? <laughs> it's not so bad. Do you want going in? Of course I'm Way off today, then? To buy Just a new bowl of hats. To buy a new bowl of that and some petrol. Oh, yeah. That's about it, really. I'm tired, come on, leave me alone. <laughs> no, what you're doing is that one. You inscribe that one and this one comes in on the power. So you put that one's registration number on, and then you put this one's on at the side and put Valkyrie in the side. Oh, you're doing this one? Oh, right. You're doing them but because he's with the lady who's on the gold wing, well, he's allowed on site. Uh, if he came on his own, we'd have to park him up over there and then take hey, him onto hey, site hey. because it's not a gold wing. With every hour that passed, new wings arrived. And it was noticeable that more wings were arriving from further afield. Eventually, there'd be over 1,100 wings on site from 14 different countries. My name is Gary Ingram. I'm the uh, General Secretary for the Going Owners Club of Great Britain. Uh, every year we hold an international rally inviting all the uh, GWEF countries, uh, the Going Clubs within the GWEF countries, to participate in our event. This year we have come to Kelso uh, because of the, the friendly attitude that we've received from the local people. We want to thank them very much for this, for this hospitality they've shown to us. Uh, we should have over a thousand Go Wings coming in. Uh, we will be having local rallies, uh, local runs, uh, a lot of the local uh, trade will be coming, show off their wares. Uh, I think and I hope everybody's thoroughly enjoying themselves. Romance was definitely in the air at Kelso. Dave and Karen Main had also decided to tie the knot during the weekend, that Friday to be precise, only they decided to marry at the townhouse in Kelso rather than make the trip to Gretna Green. Along with their friends from the Isle of Wight and Lincolnshire Wings, they were clearly going to approach the occasion with a cool head. Yeah, these guys are going to be in kilts on a bike. With a tuxedo. <laughs> the Mac Lincolnshire clan. Right, right. Just go get my tuxedo out. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> He's dropped your trousers yet again. Famous for dropping his trousers. Lincolnshire Wings, mate. They're brilliant, they really are. The Any ideas that this might be a low-profile event were soon dispelled when you saw the way that the wings had been decorated for their trip into town. The bride would certainly arrive in style. Meanwhile, in the town square, Dave had been cornered by local TV for a celebrity appearance. Obviously, there aren't yet many celebrities in Kelso, It's just something I enjoy, I thoroughly enjoy it. And I enjoy the ultimate in touring, which is the one with the Golden. How are you feeling? Um, a little bit more nervous on this occasion. You're looking yeah. very smart. Thank you very much indeed. Looking very nice. He's got another suit back by midnight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I borrowed it from his prison. It's a from discharge his... suit. <laughs> you think she's going to be late, traditionally late? Uh, knowing Karen, yeah. Yeah, yeah very much so. Any excuses, do you think, for being late? Puncture, She'll blame the bike. Well, we had a breakdown coming up here, so she's bound to blame the bike. <laughs> be the bike's fault. Back at camp, everything was ready for the off, but they were a few minutes in front of schedule, and with a hot midday sun, it's important for the bride to keep her cool. It's not getting married, it's the driving. It's, it's, that's <laughs> what I'm doing. That's what it is. Yes. <laughs> At last, it's time to leave, and with fellow white winger Talia at the controls, the entourage hits the road. Mm -hmm. 
somebody said Karen had hoped for a quiet wedding. Obviously, no one had told the piper. Cobbles and crowds don't make for ideal conditions when it comes to reversing your wing into tight corners. So it's just as well that the pit crew came along to lend a hand. The question was, had the town turned out to see the wedding or the wings? It must have been the wings, because Dave and Karen managed to slip away for a few moments on their own, leaving the crowds in the square. And the honeymoon? A romantic night under canvas, of course. Back at camp, it's the pyjama party, with traditional Scottish dancing led by the Stuart McEwan band. Back in again. Back in again. Back in. Back in. Back in. Back in. Back in. Less energetic, there were several other activities on offer. These included embarrassing your partner, embarrassing your friends, embarrassing your family, and drinking the bar dry, generally all at the same time. No matter what the country, the language, or the culture, gold wing owners come together at a Treffen with a common purpose of enjoying themselves, socializing, and at the same time, raising much needed money for charitable causes. Being part of a Treffen is a unique experience and one which Goldwing owners come back for again and again.
Jimmy's way. Yeah, Link, get your wing. Yeah, Link, get your Yes! So far. Oh, loads, plenty, yes. plenty. We were at the wedding all afternoon. So. Oh, you were at the wedding, really? Yeah, we actually got to the wedding. And he's Which a one was that? The, was that? Uh, the one in town. The one in town? Yeah, yeah, great. It was fantastic. Uh, One day down, three to go, and things can only get better, or so the song goes. 
So what would Saturday bring? Rain. The mist was certainly down the glen for the early part of the run to Moffat. 102 wings made the trip, and luckily, by the time the run reached Moffat, the day had improved considerably. That's perhaps just as well. Once at Moffat, there was time for a look round and to break out the coffee and sandwiches. Although the scenery hadn't been at its best, everyone had enjoyed the run and was looking forward to more scenery on the way back. Space in the parking area was at a premium, but again, thanks to forward planning, the marshals had everything organised and everybody found a space. Excellent, lovely. One of the best runs I've ever been on. Despite the weather. Be, it's not bad, it's uh, just a little bit drizzly, that's all. Nothing heavy. No, oh, fantastic, really great. Jersey next year. <laughs> are you taking me or are you taking Bobby behind me? Oh, you could have waited to kill my hair. Put my lipstick on. <laughs> it's the first time that we in uh, in Scotland. It's very nice. Very nice uh, trip. Yeah. Hello. You got about ten minutes.
back at camp, it's Saturday night. And that means just one thing, the European Awards, hosted by international representative Ken Snell. May I extend a special warm welcome to all our visitors from the Golden European Federation and America and elsewhere. We hope you are enjoying our program in this part of Scotland and, we can, and hope you will continue to do so tomorrow. And this presentation is done by the international rep of Great Britain, Mr. Ken Snell. Uh, to, uh, to present the awards this evening, we have the privilege to have on stage the honorary provost of uh, Kelso, Margaret Little. Thank you. Goldwing members, guests and friends, I am delighted and privileged to be invited as provost to have the opportunity to be present here tonight. I hope the members and the families have enjoyed their stay and continue to do so, and found the borders area of great interest. I can honestly say the townspeople of Kelso have never seen the lights before, and probably never again. We will now proceed with this presentation of the awards. Thank you. This, uh, this year we have uh, 1,110 bikes inscribed. We begin with the individual awards. The longest distance female solo driver has come from Germany. We begin with 1,636 kilometers. from Great Britain with 605 kilometers, Jane Cupid. We have named the oldest driver 
the Tom Potter Award. Now, we have done this in recognition for all the years that Tom gave us at this club and in Europe. So, the oldest driver comes from Great Britain and he's 74 years. with two bikes, with 2,944 kilometers. Give a big welcome to the Czech Republic. Thank you. 
16th place with 16 bikes with 16,192 points, Germany! And a trophy for all the uh, bikers traveling from the USA. Could you all please come up here? Thank you.
Sunday morning means a general spruce up for wings and mascots. The public are coming. Some of the locals had clearly had a rough night, or was it just a case of too much iron brew? Actually, the clan Reynold had come along to put on a battle, always a popular event north of the border, and to do traditional border-type things. 
Not an unpleasant way to spend a Sunday morning, and £2,000 was raised for a local charity through the admission fees. Other wingers were hard at work checking out the route for the Parade of Nations. In its early stages, the parade would pass through the grounds of Flores Castle, which would not be without its hazards. The, um, the problem with the drain across the road is uh, there's a good chance of the bikes bossing out when they come out, so we're going to have to raise the bottom level um, so it's a little bit smoother. I don't think we'll get it absolutely perfect, but we'll get it as level as we can. Back in the town centre, Goldwings were once again drawing the crowds in advance of that afternoon's Parade of Nations. At last, the secret is out. The most essential tool in a winger's emergency kit is his tickling stick, otherwise known as a feather duster. Yes, most definitely. Lifts the dust instead of scratching it. How's this for a show-stopping arrival? It's enough to qualify for instant membership of any Scottish clan. For some of the townspeople, it's both entertaining and amusing, whilst others simply can't believe their eyes. On the approach to Floors Castle, it's time for the Marshal's briefing. It's a responsible job which places these wingers squarely in the public eye. But as we'll see, good PR comes a second nature to a winger. Hello. Say hello. Yeah, to the man there. You'll be famous next year because it'll be on video. Say hello. You're in here, you are. There you are. You're off to shoot. Yeah, and, and you're on film now, so I've got you touching me on my private, so I could be coming and suing you later. Yeah. yeah. Have you got a lot of money? Well, don't tell us. Don't tell me. Well, I'm after another new wing, you see. Oh, it's true. Well, that's cut there for a new wing. <laughs> so, you guys all marshalling today? Yes. Yeah, for our sins. <laughs> for our sins. <laughs> yeah. For the first yeah. time ever. Yeah, yeah. We, we've been told we, we, need to be we need to be punished. <laughs> <laughs> Dare we ask what for? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to just pan around us, they're all on it. <laughs> you're going to go flat. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No. Give it coming up, Doug. Keep on detail. Now, now all the people who should have been at work and are here. <laughs> right, <laughs> anyone? <laughs> Anybody who doesn't mind not going and following the parade, can they just come and stand over here? Because the parade will actually be coming back through town, so you'll be doing the junction twice. A general introduction, and then they're off for familiarization with the route. Floors Castle is the largest inhabited castle in Scotland, with priceless European paintings, tapestries and furnishings. No gold wings though, for these you'll have to check out the field next to the campsite, where over 1,000 wings have been drawn up in military style ready for the off.
this is it. Four o'clock sharp, and the parade route has been filling up with people all afternoon. As we know, they're going to see something they'll talk about for years to come.
enjoyed yourself? Good. Yes, thank you very much. Where have you come from? Midland, uh, take Coventry. Very nice. When and you go back? Been drinking all morning. <laughs> all morning. <laughs> See you later. Back at camp, there's just time to grab a bite to eat and sort through the weekend photos. All the action brilliantly captured once again by the Dutchman with the camera. Then it's eyes down for the Goldwing Brit Awards, hosted by Ken Foster, Treffen coordinator and acting vice chairman. And to present the awards tonight, we have Fiona Beal, who is the World Stunt Riding Championship. Very brave lady. First of all, we want to make an apology for last night. We missed one of the awards off. And that was the furthest travelled male trike. And this goes to a David Harris of Devon and Cornwall. We did 858 kilometers. David Harris, and you come on with your phone there. Thank you very much. some sort of recognition and this is what we think is the furthest travel region with a hundred percent turnout we know it's only a small region but with a hundred percent turn uh, turnout we'd like the area rep to come up to collect the award from the channel islands which is a parent to parent and would like Diane Henderson and Jackie Johnson if you can come on stage please <laughs> and we're going to present a cheque to parent to parent for £2,000 Thank you. 
Well done, thank you very much, Steve. Oh, we have uh, a small presentation now to make to, uh, to Ronald and John. He doesn't know about this, I don't think. But we'd like to uh, present you with one of our... I I'm sorry I can't pronounce it because it's Scottish, I think. Quick. Oh. Quick. A quick. A quick. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Thank you very much indeed, Ronald. And thank you, John. Okay, the Gold Wing Awards for 1999. The first one is the Gold Winger of the Year Award. And this one goes to a guy in Kent. And his name is Dusty Miller. This one goes to a guy you see in a, a van a lot. He's from Yorkshire. He's been doing his bit this weekend. And that award goes to Ken Wright. And I'm told he's still working behind the bar. Come on, Ken. to a guy who does uh, many, many trappings on his old 1100 and he takes with him a young man he would never really get to see anywhere else but he does look after him and the European winner of the year goes to Brian Brown ceremony if it's appropriate now that, uh, that Mr Wilson Ronald also would like to say a few words to you before we um, do the, the next award. Thank you very much Ken. Ladies and gentlemen, all gold rings. I would like to say what I say on behalf of our body in society, the Kelsey people and the Scottish Borders region. And I know that they would agree when I say that you have all been absolutely fantastic. It has been a, a wonderful experience for us to have you at the Border Union Showground. We really hope you've enjoyed it. And it has been our pleasure to host you at this event. I have known Mac now for 15 months. What a character. One of the very best. Right from the start, I knew that this would be a success because one meeting with Mac, and that's it. Your, the trust we've had and the way he and all the team have set it up, I must congratulate you. I have never seen such a professional setup, and I really think the region and the locality have really enjoyed you, and if you want to come back, we will welcome you with open arms. It has been a pleasure. Thank you. Okay, what do you think of the traffic so far? Is that good, is it? <laughs> Okay, the next award. This has been donated by the Scots Borders Council. And Mr. David Lindos is the is the chairman. And he presented this to a bronze statuette 
of a border reaver. Now, I, I'm not going to tell you what a border reaver is, basically because I don't know. But I'm going to hand it over to Joe, Roland's wife, and there's a little verse that goes with this, and you can only say this verse with a Scots accent, so I'm told. So I'm going to pass you over to Joe just for a few minutes while she tells you what the verse is. Okay, Joe? This poem was written by a border poet and it goes with the statue because a border raider is a border reaver. Now, if you know that we're so close to England, there's a lot of rivalry. And this little poem is called The Raiders. Last night, the wind from Lamanoor came roaring up the glen with the tramp of trooping horses and the laugh of reckless men and struck a rail hand on the gate and cried in rebel glee. Come forth, come forth, my borderer, and ride the march with me. I said, O oh, wind of Lamanoor, the night's too dark to ride, and all the men who fill the glen are ghosts of men that died. The floods are down in Bowman Burn, the moss is fed off deep. Go back, wild wind of Lamanoor, to Lauderdale and sleep. Out spoke the wind of Lamanoor, we know the road right well. The road that runs by Cale and Jed across the Carter Fell. There is no man of all the men in this great troop of mine, but blind might ride the border side from Teagut Head to Time. The horses fetted on their pits and brought the prince to fire. The riders swung them to the south, full faced in their desire. Special Recognition Award. It was debated quite lengthy by the management committee and we decided that we would award this to a man who's done so much for our club over the years. He's worked unselfishly at the every treffer that we've had and this award is going to Mr Andy Catley. This club is number one. Thanks very much. Cheers. And as he walks off the stage, he just simply says, follow that. 
Okay, the next stage of the procedures. As you know, last year we started with the flag, the Treffen flag, to be handed over. So I'd like to ask the area rep from Alba, Fitzsimic on stage, and the area reps from Capital and Thames Valley. Will it work? Yes, it will. <laughs> okay, the year 2000 is our 20th anniversary. And our next treffer will be at Hertfordshire County Showground at St Albans. <laughs> Come in front of the post, don't stand behind it. Why not? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay, thanks. Um, I think that's about it now. Um, oh yeah, we've got a raffle with Spike up, haven't we? Uh, to pick the winning ticket out. And the winning person can ride the bike off the search for the wheel up there again. Unfortunately, Ken wasn't present to collect his prize, which was just as well as the camera ran out of tape at the crucial moment. So, wherever you are, Ken, well done. And have you got any hot tips for the lottery? Hello there. This is Johnny Gintz, PRO for the Goldwing Club. I hope you've all had a nice treffing. I've worked bloody hard. We'll see you all next year in London. Bye-bye. Thank you. Monday, and judging by the number of sold stickers, the traders have had a good weekend. Hi, Barry, Colin Appleyard. I think you know me and Stuart and Steve by now quite well. As you can see, another Treffen, another enjoyable, if not rather hard, few days. We can supply you new bikes, we can supply second-hand bikes, 12s, 15s, see we're the most popular now, although we do still get 11s. All the accessories, all the chrome goodies, and for those who've been watching all the video all the way through, yes, H did buy his new purple or magenta 1500. And yes, I hope he enjoys it. So H, enjoy your new bike, and I'll make sure nobody scratched it for you. Bye. It's time to trade in the two-seater for a 45-seater, as seven coaches leave the site bound for Edinburgh for a spot of sightseeing and the world-famous Edinburgh Tattoo. two years ago, she sent me to the hospital and put an implant in here. I'll just leave my arm pin. And every time she asks for a volunteer, she pushes a button on this arm, she opens up. <laughs> well, in September, she's at resigning, so I get it taken out. Um, it was a great nation, it's the first time I've ever taken part. Driving myself, it took me on track, only had it three days. So, it's a real achievement. I've never drove a 1500 before in my life, so I thought I'd done really well. We've only just arrived, and Sandra and Chris have managed to find the only French street traders in Edinburgh. They may know all about face painting, but the Scottish flag and tartan are a complete mystery to them. Being a Braveheart fan, Chris asked to be painted like Wallace, but the only Wallace that the face painter knew was the one that ate Albert. 
It's quite a climb to the castle, so if we're going to get a good seat, we'd better set off now. And tickets were in such short supply that some people would resort to any means to get one. As dusk fell, 200 wingers sat down to watch a spectacle that was more Scottish than whiskey. It was a memorable evening, a fitting end to a brilliant treffen. Hope to see you in St Albans next year. Ladies and gentlemen.